does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Hey there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another Bower Plays. And today I'm going to be playing against myself, Marvel Dice Throne. And we're going to be playing Captain Marvel versus Black Panther. This is from Roxley Games and The Op Games. It's for two to six players, 30 minutes to play, ages eight plus. But the Marvel... Uh, but the Captain Marvel vs. Black Panther is actually an expansion or standalone. So you can play it as a two-player game or you can add it to any of the already uh, the dice throne you already have. So, I'm going to be starting as Captain Marvel. She's going to go first. And we're just going to walk you through everything as we go. And it's all real quick here on this turn order card. Up keys phase, nothing. Normally we'd have an income phase, but for the first turn of the game we do not. And then we have the main phase where you're going to play ability upgrades... Uh, play main phase action cards, and then sell your cards for one buck pop if you want, aka combat points. It's kind of your money. So looking at my hand, uh, I got this one, which is going to let me reroll dice. This one, remove a static effect. Uh, play only after being attacked. So this one, hot energy refraction. So this is going to improve my defense roll. It costs two. We'll pop it in there right now. Seems like kind of a no-brainer. We got two bucks to spend. And... That's pretty much all we're going to do in our main phase, so now we will go to our offensive roll phase, which means we're going to roll our five dice, and we're trying to get a Yahtzee, but there's also a lot of other things that we could potentially try and get as well. So two blues, three whites, that is a decent start right there. You know what, we're going to go with a photon punch here. So we're trying to get more whites, we got four whites... We got four whites and a blue, which means we're going to be dealing six blockable damage to Black Panther. Uh, damage that is red on the inside is unblockable. Right now, I don't, oh yeah, so there's some unblockable damage over here on the Black Panther side. So Black Panther is going to look at their defense roll and see that they're rolling three defense dice. Anytime they get a claw, they deal one unblockable damage, which is red. So at the end of the day... Captain Marvel did some damage, but she also took some damage, so now she's down to 49, and Black Panther is now down to, what was it, 6 damage, 44. Bloop, bloop. But since Black Panther is Black Panther with his oh-so-nifty suit, he has energy absorption. So whenever damage is successfully dealt to you, gain a kinetic energy. Now, if you haven't played any of the Dice Throne games before, every single character is completely asymmetrical with their own special decks and their own special tokens and counters. And so Black Panther has kinetic energy, and once he gets to eight kinetic energy, he can pretty much explode to a bunch of cool stuff. Or uh, you can spend two kinetic energy to increase damage from your attacks by one. Uh, it's an attack modifier. That one I don't think most people are going to use unless you're, like, killing blow type stuff. But... That was a solid turn. Well, I mean, it wasn't a great... It was a solid turn by Captain Marvel. She did some damage. She upgraded a card. And so now it goes, boop, over to uh, Black Panther. Because Captain Marvel does not want to do anything. Because there is one more main phase after this where you can play more cards. But since she's broke as a joke and she doesn't want to sell any of your cards right now, she's done. She then would discard if she had more than six cards. She doesn't, which means we go get over to Black Panther, who does get to do the income phase. So Because they don't have anything to do on the upkeep phase right now. So they draw a card and they gain a CP. And those player reference cards. Double-sided, by the way. Turn order and timing. Love it. So what do we got? Uh, ooh, Vegas, baby. Zero CP. We'll play this right now. Roll a die and gain half the value as CP rounded up. Wow, that is three bucks. That's a big one. That is a big one. Hopefully, we got some cards to play right now. Some upgrade cards. We got one. We got Bashinga's Honor, which is another defense modifier card. And you're going to have cards that will modify all the different slots in here. Uh, if I recall, maybe not all of them, but I think most of them. So that one's going to cost us two of our six bucks, but we still have four. We got money to spend. And that one, what's the difference? It just lets us roll one additional die. Uh, so we're never going to block damage, but we can always deal counter damage. So strength of will, roll five dice, uh, add one damage times. The, so this one's going to allow us to uh, modify an attack. We're not doing that right now. Stealth strike and heart shaped herb. Oh my goodness. I feel like Black Panther is definitely just pulling the lead. So this one costs two, this one costs one. We're going to spend that no-brainer because now we have upgraded three of our spots. So Stealth Strike is going to go from deal three undefendable damage to deal four undefendable damage. And Heart Shape Herb is going to go from uh, gain Vibranium Armor and three Kinetic Energy to gain one times the number of dice Kinetic Energy. So you could, if you rolled additional of this symbol, gain... 
Uh, well, you're already going to gain three kinetic energy. Wow. So you could potentially gain more kinetic energy. That's what that one means. Okay. So that's a nice upgrade, especially if you happen to roll a whole bunch of those blues. So now let's see if we can capitalize on this good stuff. So four claws. I feel like I know which way we're going right now. Uh, we're already dealing five damage. It's not great. We could also go one, two, three, five. Hmm. Leaving that open. It's a close-ended straight, though. Those That's fool's gold, especially if you're a poker player. Um, gain two could then gain. This one's going to, you know what? I think we'll just, just take the tip, play it nice and safe. Go with the claws, get ourselves a fifth claw. We couldn't get the fifth claw. We deal five damage. Underwhelming turn there. So, moving over, uh, we do the defense roll. Gets to roll all five dice and has upgraded it. So this could be good. Three whites, two blues. What's that do? For every two blues rolled, gain a cosmic flare. We'll talk about that in a second. The whites don't do anything. So just gained a cosmic flare, but does take the full five points of damage. It doesn't have any cool armor. Ooh, that one's a little bit rolly. That one is a little bit rollier than I'd like it to be. I if I can tighten that somehow. Not a huge deal, but still something to know. So, Black Panther is does not want to do anything else. The, this is not a free card, so they couldn't play it. So, it now moves over to Captain Marvel's turn. So, first thing, we'll take a Cosmic Flare. Deal one damage per token to all opponents. During their upkeep phase, a player with this token deals one damage per Cosmic Flare to all opponents, then removes one of those tokens. So this one is going to be, right now is the upkeep phase. So boom, it just automatically does one damage to there. During their upkeep phase, a player with the token deals one damage per cosmic flare. It doesn't say they may, it says they have to. It says they do to all opponents, then removes one of these tokens. So essentially just one point over here to Black Panther, but that's actually kind of good for Black Panther because whenever damage is successfully dealt, you gain kinetic armor. And if you're only dealing one damage, I think it'll take that all day. So that is, and he does not get to roll a defense modifier for this, for, for that sort of thing. So, draw a card, boom, get a dollar. Let's hope for, ooh, Supernova, two, but it's a little rich for our blood, two bucks. Maybe we might sell something of them. Remove a status effect, don't care. We're not, we're not gonna do that, we're not gonna do that. So we'll sell that, now we got up to two bucks, and then I think we upgrade our Supernova. Supernova, two, so now, and the great part about this is, and so now this one, uh, this special ability gets better, and there's now a new special ability out, uh, down here, which means even if I don't succeed at this one, I'm still very likely to get the Interstellar. So making it so you're less likely to have one of those turns where you don't do anything at all, because those turns, oh, those ones are rough. Um, this one's free, too. Ooh, play after being attacked, so we'll hold on to that one. Then I think we will just go ahead and roll our dice and see what we can get. Ooh, and look at that, we already got Interstellar. So... Boom, and I think we go for four. Yeah, kind of makes sense. Let's do it. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, ow. But once again, it's not ow. Because, because, wow, and that's that's why this is extra appealing too. This is kind of a get out of jail free card if you actually want to go for your binary blast. Because I will say, hitting the Yahtzee, much like in regular version of Yahtzee, uh, is going to get you uh, a super powerful ability, but it's really hard to do because, you know, there's only... <laughs> You got to hit, hit a six on all, every single one of them. But now you only have to hit a six and three of them, only on four of them. Love that. Uh, so we're dealing, gain three cosmic flares. Ooh, ooh. So we're going to be doing some long term damage here. Yikesy, mikesy. That is rough. All right. So we have hit our stack limit of this, which means we cannot have more than this on our board. Now you're saying, well, why, why would there be more than three then? Well, that's because there might be cards that potentially modify that. Or there's also cards where you can take other people's status effects. And that's probably the main reason that it's there. So we still gain Cosmic Flare. We didn't do any damage at all, but that will do damage over time. And we are done because I don't think we're going to do anything else with our second main phase. And since uh, he was not attacked here, doesn't do any defense rolls or anything like that. And it just goes over to his turn. Gain one buck. Gain one card because we don't have anything to do during the upkeep phase because the kinetic energy does not do anything during the upkeep phase. So both of these cards are orange, which means we uh, we use them during the offensive roll phase. And I do love how they've done the graphic design in this game. If you haven't checked out my review of this, I gave it a power spec, so I absolutely adore this system. Uh, I think if you're new, yeah, just period. You are a chosen teammate, maybe we roll up to two dice. Okay, that could come into handy, and we could use that right now. Let's see if we can get ourselves some uh, some Black Panther symbols. That'd be great. 
We did. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Is that it? Yeah, that's one, two, three, four, five. We got a long straight. I don't think we move that because a large straight will gain two kinetic energy. So we are charging up and deal eight damage. Booyah. Loving that. So eight damage. Let's see if we can block any of it. Oh, we also have the, the card. Ooh, the cosmic shield. Yeah, so we might play that. All right, so... We have, ooh, you know what? We might not play that because there's a high probability that we're going to gain the Cosmic Flare. And we're already at our max stack of Cosmic Flare. So I think we would actually play this one a little bit safer and just hold on to that card. All right. So what do we do over here? For every two, you gain a Cosmic Flare. Dang it. So we don't even get that Cosmic Flare. That's a little bit of a bummer. These don't do anything. So our defense roll does absolutely nothing. And we just take eight damage to the face. That's a straight. Woo, that straight just, that, that put a hurting on us. Uh, 38, no, not 6 damage, 8 damage. So we would be down to 36. <laughs> Black Panther coming to play. And I do feel like Black Panther is, is a pretty, is actually a really good counter to Captain Marvel, who's just going to be doing consistent damage. Uh, so Black Panther did his thing. He's not going to do anything else during his main phase number two. And I will say from playing this quite a few times now, uh, I think most of the time you're probably not going to do stuff on your main phase two, but sometimes you might. And we didn't spend any money. Yeah, that's because these were both cards that can only be played right there. Okay. So moving on to Captain Marvel in a little bit of a pickle here, but the bottom line is we now do our cosmic flare, not for not one, not two, but three points of damage and then remove one of the tokens. So essentially by unlocking that, we're going to do six points of unblockable damage over the course of three rounds, but we can also gain those on our turn. So three damage, Black Panther, boom down to 40, but gains, yet again, another kinetic energy. We have that charging up. So, draw a card, get a combat point. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's see, do we have anything that costs a buck? We do. These are all cards that cost a dollar or less, and these are all cards that uh, are not going to help us at this very moment to upgrade our board, but let's see. You were chosen, may re-roll up to two dice. Samesies. Change the value of one of your dice to be identical to the value of another one of your dice. So essentially for two CP, we are going to have a decent chance to get to, at a bare minimum, Supernova 2, but potentially even the Binary Blast, which could be a real helper for us, and use our Cosmic Ray, which I haven't even read about. I'm excited. I don't even know what that does. All right, so... Grab our dice, get a roll on, like big timers. Wow, that looks very familiar. Three, three, two, three, four, five. That's promising. That's a short straight. Or do we want to go? I feel like we don't want to go just for straight damage. Yeah, two, three, four, five makes sense to me. We already have a short straight. We have an open-ended long straight, which could gain us the cosmic ray and deal seven undefinable damage. Yeah, one or six. Bam, got it. Large straights coming to town. And I do feel like the large straights are very powerful in this game, in the, in the, in the dice throne realm. So, uh, first thing, deal seven undefendable. So that's just boom to your face. Owie, Maui, boom, kabowie. Uh, nothing to block that because obviously it's undefendable. And we gain the cosmic ray, which we'll read about in a second. But over here, he still does gain. Black Panther still does. Boom, for taking the one damage. That. So it's not, not, all rose, not all bad stuff. So moving over here to the Cosmic Ray, we need to make sure it doesn't do anything now. Roll two dice and pick one for damage bonus. After attacking, a player with this token may spend it and roll two, then choose one of the two dice and add the value of this dice to the damage total attack modifier. Can only spend one per turn. Cannot be spent the turn to escape. So we couldn't use that immediately to bump up our seven undefendable damage. So... After attacking, a player with a token may spend it and roll two dice, then choose one of the two die and add the value. So you essentially, you can do up to six damage with that. That is decent. That's a decent chunk of damage right there. Nice little kill and blow potentially. Do we want to play a card? Nah. Not for us. We're saving up our money. Moving on over to Black Panther. Black Panther, first things first. Upkeep phase, nothing. Income phase, we're up to three bucks. We draw a card. We got some cash to spend. What do we got? And we got card manipulation. Change the value of any one die. So just a straight up die change. So maybe, maybe we maybe we go for maybe we go for Wakanda forever. Because that 
That with that three kinetic energy would put us over the eight, which means we would also do an attack, which would be pretty nice. All right, so maybe not. Oh, actually, do we have this? We have the triple threat. It looks like we just rolled straight up triple threat. Let's see what that does. Yeah, I'm liking this. Deal six damage. Roll two dice. All right. So we have seven damage, and we get to draw a card. Ooey booey, that's very nice. So we're dealing seven damage over here. Maybe, maybe now is the time to play this. Yes, I do like that. I do like that a lot because we can gain an extra Cosmic Ray. We can have a stack limit of two. And if we gain the Cosmic Flare, it's going to mean we do an extra damage this next upcoming turn, which I think is a great idea. So we're dealing seven damage right now to her. So first she's going to roll this, see what happens. Uh, ooh, that's that's a rough one. Absolutely nothing on our upgraded energy refraction too. So we're just going to take seven damage. Uh, oh, we might, and now we're going to roll this one. And we block two, so instead we take five damage. Okay, you did your job, Cosmic Shield. You blocked some. It's not, the, not great, but hey, man, that energy refraction. Two rolls where we just couldn't hit a dang thing. All right, kinetic energy. So we're not going to play any more cards, I don't think, over here. Um, we could spend two CP to gain three cards, but I don't think that's what we want to do. So, moving on. <clears throat> not looking good. First things first, we deal two damage, undefendable, over here. But that also gives Black Panther number seven. Anything else we want to do? Draw a card, obviously, and gain our CP. That seems like a smart thing to do. Two bucks to spend. Ooh, refuel. Roll one. Okay, this looks like a good one to play right now. Actually, ooh, no, because we're, I want to save these two because we can hold on to the refuel because it's a good card because it's either going to gain a, a Cosmic Flare draw card, gain a Radiance and draw card, which we haven't used, or gain a Cosmic Ray. So either one, you know what? Maybe we do it. But if we get close to get, mm, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. We're, we're going to keep our eyes on the prize. I want to try and get a binary blast with her. Because with this interstellar here, I just feel like it should be us trying to get a Yahtzee every time. Let's hit some home runs. We don't want to deal tiddlywink damage to Black Panther. We want to hit him with the big stuff. That's that's it's just a big old game of tiddlywinks. I invite everybody over to my house to play for tiddlywinks. Uh, but have we... Oh, I haven't been looking at this. We should have gained Cosmic Flare if we had a four of a kind on the numbers. I don't think we did Len, the, the one time we hit it. So right now that's six damage. Mm. Or we no, I think we go open ended. I think we go open ended straight. Yeah, I think we do that. Because gaining that cosmic ray would be very nice as well. Two two. Well look there, we got three of a kind. Two two. Are you kidding me? So we'll do well, we got our fallback plan. We got six damage. That's rough. Alright, so just six damage over here. So first things first, Black Panther is now going to get his eighth token down here. So, what does this mean? Upon reaching kinetic energy stack limit, immediately remove all kinetic energy tokens. Immediately. So that would happen right now. Right this very moment. Did he take his damage? I don't think he's taking his damage. Mm, no, because he was, yeah, he was at 37. Black Panthers, or <clears throat> Captain Marvel might just be in a little bit of trouble in this game. So, gain two bucks. Now he's balling with five CPs. Two cards and deal five damage to a chosen opponent. Undefendable. Ow. 26. Butso nutso. Not looking good over here for Captain Marvel. All right. And still gets to roll five dice. Or no, excuse me, four dice. I think I've been doing that correct. And do one damage back. 25. Bam. Good news is, oh, this is not much. Just looking at the timing of this, I would not be surprised if Black Panther's next kinetic energy is what wiped Captain Marvel out. I think we could be in that game state. <laughs> she really needs to swing something here. I was hoping to get her to two cosmic rays before we did it. That was just a poor roll. I mean, nothing you can do about that. Moving on. Unless we want to spend a card. Refuel? Mm, you know what? I think they might do this right now. They really... Because they're still going to be able to go for the Yahtzee next time. Because they know they're going to get that extra buck next time. So I think they'd spend this. And they're going to refuel. Roll one. Get a good roll. One. Uh, gain a Cosmic Flare. Okay. And draw a card. Okay. Not the, not the greatest. We were hoping to get something else. But that is going to deal... It 
it's going to deal some damage. A little tiddlywig damage. Once again, it's going to charge up his thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, done. Back over to Black Panther. And that's, that's the cool thing about Black Panther. He just did a heck of attack when it wasn't even his turn. And now he gets back to his turn. He's now up to six bucks. He's going to draw another card. He might actually... <clears throat> So it's seven cards. All right, so we should probably play some stuff. So this is one. This is one we can attack. The modifier, vibranium claws. Uh, yeah. Maybe we draw. Maybe we just draw two cards. We could draw three cards. You know what? No, no, no. I think we're gonna try and get ourselves a heck of an attack because we can change the value of one of your dice to a six. We could. So we essentially have two sixes right here, and we have. Up to two rerolls. So I think we can get ourselves a Yahtzee with that. Let's go. Starting with one. All we need is three. Three of them. Let's go. Okay. Maybe we reroll two of these dice? No. Let's, let's hold off. Third roll. Bam. We can automatically do it. So the first thing I think we do, just makes sense to me, we try and reroll naturally. Change. Yeah. So we're going to reroll naturally. Spend a buck. And we're going to reroll up to two dice. And we just rolled those. Didn't do anything. And then we could spend three bucks. And we can get ourselves to what we want. I think we do it. Three bucks. Let's go. So we're going to pay the three bucks. We're changing these bottle of boom to what we need. Pay the three bucks. We still have two bucks. Woo-wee. And now we are doing Wakanda Forever. Gain the Vibranium Suit. Beautiful. A player with this token may spend it to prevent three damage. Awesome. Uh, and gain three kinetic energy, not ideal, <laughs> and then deal 11 undefendable damage, bringing Captain Marvel down to 14. But, does get to try. Oh no, because it's undefendable. Don't even get to do the energy refraction. Yikes. Rough. Uh, okay. Moving on. That was just a great turn. Uh, they could also do, now that I think about it, a second part of their uh, the their phase if they really wanted to, but I don't think there's anything they really want to. Maybe get the vibranium claws just now, just buy it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think they would. I think they'd just hold on to that dollar. Captain Marvel, her turn. Two damage at the beginning. Yippee skippy. He could block it with the vibranium armor, but would much rather just take the two damage and get yet another token. Ow. <clears throat> Moving over here. Really needs a heck of a draw card right now. Really hoping that's a good one. So wild. That's essentially a six if we needed to. We can afford that. We can afford... <clears throat> now I'm kind of regretting spending that dollar last time. Oh. Let's see some reds. That's not. That's none of those. None of those are in fact red. That is science. We do a barrel roll. Oh, man. What is the cosmic... Uh, so after attacking... Mm. We can't use one of those on our turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what do we even hold on to here? This is all so bad. Do we just scrap everything? 3-4? I think we hold on to the 3-4, because, yeah, then we at least can work towards a straight. 1-1-3. One, one, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. 1-2-3-4-5. Okay. Woo, okay. that was close. Thought we oofed there for a second. One, two, three, four, five. We've gotten a large straight. We gain a cosmic ray, which we can spend next time, assuming we're alive. And we deal seven undefendable damage. That was a big move. I think takes the vibranium suit off, only takes four of that. 25 plus it is, oh, it's undefendable. Never mind. So it uh, does not take three off of it. So he's down to 22, but still does have the vibranium suit for the next time stuff comes in. And does not get to defend. It's undefendable. All right, that was that was the turn you needed. That was a good turn. Solid turn. Anything we want to do now? Nope. We could draw three cards, but that would spend all our money, which is not what we want to do. We could also sell those cards. Ooh, I forgot about that. Moving on. Does he have one six cards? No, we spent them. So we got five cards. Bloop. A buck. We could draw two additional cards. Or we could, yeah, not, yeah. So we'll just spend a buck. We'll draw two additional cards. Same Z's. Ooh, energy absorption passive. 
So, oh, so this is great. This will, and this is free, so we'll do it. No brainer. Whenever damage is successfully dealt to you, uh, it's the same thing, but now instead of your stack being eight, your stack is seven. So you're more likely to uh, to, to to go after the person with it. Also, we're getting close to the nitty gritty, so I think we will spend the buck and we will actually upgrade our vibranium armor just as a fallback. You know, I'm hoping we don't have to use it, but hey, you know, we might, we might. Sometimes, let's go. Sometimes you gotta do stuff. Like right now, when I roll the dice, three claws, two blue. What do we got here? We could potentially go for the triple threat and change the value of one of your dice to identical. Mm, so it would not be applicable here where that six would help. Gain one kinetic energy. Gain the vibranium suit. We already have the vibranium suit, so I don't know if we want to do that. Three claws. Two of these are identical. Mm. Let's go for the let's go for the big shot. Or we have two, three, four, five. Oh, never mind. Yeah, glad I looked at that again. Two, three, four, five. Come on. Six. Boom. Large straight right back in your face, Captain Marvel. And that's not good. Gain two kinetic energy. Very not good. So he is about to explode one more, and he's going to go all over Captain Marvel. So Captain Marvel has to do a blast so big that she kills him. Okay. Uh, oh, this is, I don't know if she can do that, but maybe, we'll see. Maybe, well, we gotta get that cosmic ray. We got two cosmic ray. Okay, focus on your turn. So, is this undefendable? No, no, no. <clears throat> it's not undefendable, though. It's good. Just, that's rough, though. So, uh, eight damage over here. Do we have any cards that will let us? No. No, I'm wishing I had them. I wish I had those cards. So we do get to prevent something, and it's all white. No, that does literally nothing. Captain Marvel with some absolutely devastating inner defense rolls. It's all game, and I think that would have made a big difference. Because, I mean, it's only 14-22. So, uh, we also take... So, how much damage did we take? Eight. So, we're down to six. Oh, ow. Okay. Final Cosmic Flare goes off. <gasps> no! No! Our final Cosmic Flare goes off. Hits Black Panther for one. Black Panther takes his one, which now means he has now hit his kinetic energy stack thanks to his energy absorption 2 upgrade, which means he now does 11 undefendable damage. <clears throat> Captain Marvel is dead, and Black Panther has just exerted his will on Captain Marvel, but once again, she just could not hit those energy refraction rolls. <coughs> but there you go. That is Marvel Dice Throne, Captain Marvel versus Black Panther. It looks like it might be your cup of tea. Be sure to check this one out. I absolutely adore this game and the system, and uh, I'm very excited to mix these characters in with the rest of the game. But if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 15,000 subscribers to celebrate something that starts with 15. And thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters, and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month, and as always, thanks for stopping by.